I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. We used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burned, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
Where to now? Left across the square. Oh, hey, Demir, do you think the colonel knows what Artyom been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you, leave him alone. I killed him myself with my slingshot. Let him learn to stand up for himself. How else can he hope to survive in the metro? Rise and shine, people! Hang in there, Artyom. You gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now? <laughs> I 
Artyom, are you awake? It's okay. The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro, nothing else. And the Order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So get ready to go. Then we'll discuss your transfer to police. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom? Please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Still, lucky those Spartans are damn good. They brought Archeon here just in time. They sure are. I cannot remember the last time I saw a bunch of healthy and fit people down here. Yeah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. Artyom, just try to take better care of yourself, huh? Even if you find someone else out there, they probably have their own troubles. So what would contacting them even accomplish? Besides, I remember we used to receive signals from the outside pretty frequently soon after the bombs fell. But not for a long time now. Doesn't that tell you anything? Ah well, it's your life. Artyom. I understand how you feel, but you're not always going to save the Metro single-handedly. Why keep looking for a solution alone? Your friends from the Order came to your help again. The Colonel seems to want you back in the unit. Why waste your time in our farming station or out there looking for ghosts? If Sparta wanted me, I'd join in a heartbeat. Eh, in any case, good luck, Artyom. Nah, yeah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. Huh? Well, sadly, it's their job. Job or no job. <coughs> Uncle Artyom! Well, don't worry. I believe you! <coughs> Will you take me with you and when you find the clean place outside? <coughs> and how long do you think that's going to last? How many kids are there in the station? Artyom, stop putting delusions into his head. I don't want him going crazy like you. I can't even sleep since you told him all those silly stories. Is that supposed to make him better? Please, leave my son alone. And the Nazis try something. That's exactly why they go up there. They know we can't solve anything by hiding in our holes. The stores are running out. There's fewer of us and more of the mutants. And those keep getting larger, stronger, and smarter by the day. Sooner or later, they will crush us. I left the order. And now nobody gets to decide for me. As for us young. Enough. 
Like a broken record like this. Had the guys not made it in time, you'd be a widow now. Stop it! No, you stop it. There's a comfortable plan waiting for you to enforce. A far cry from this. What do you mean we pretend? Exactly that. And it's time you stop thinking only about yourself. But where would we go? You know how short we are on veteran fighters. With your experience, you too must teach the recruits. You could save lots of lives that way. I'm so tired of explaining this to you. Dad, I won't come back without us young. And he... Anna, this is madness. Yes, I know it is. Spending so much time on the surface is suicide. Yes, I don't want to lose my husband to radiation. I hate him for killing himself out there like that every day. But what if you consider, even for one second, that Artyom was right? What if he did hear that signal? Would you ever forgive yourself if we let the chance go? The chance to come back to real life. To raise our children outside, with sun shining on them. Real sun, Dad. I know I wouldn't. All right. Let's talk it over once more, with Artyom. I must say, though, is that even if he did hear some signal, it's not necessarily a good thing. Huh? We'll talk about it later, but not in a public space. Deal. Oh, I can't believe my eyes! Artyom, you're all right. You give us a few, brother. Artyom! How are you, friend? <laughs> I Pardon see you all me, right. gentlemen, give way! This calls for a celebration. Artyom. A few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which... Alyosha, how you are the nurses in the hospital, guys, huh? Could you just stop crowding him? <sighs> Brother... Back, uh, uh, Priviat, Artyom. All right, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Oh, it's official! Yeah. I knew it! You guys are like kids. So I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom! The only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. <sighs> ah, yes, and there's also those damn things. Calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Move it. We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Oh, father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice, if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limit zone. <laughs> Have you been to all of these ruins? <sighs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. Here, now. Look, maybe you should come back to the Order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. 
Your turn now. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? Turn the light off. It's a pack. Just what we need. A draw. We're lucky the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. The pack is here. So, do we turn this place into Thermopylae, or do we let them pass? Wait it out. Looks like that was all of them. I'm glad they didn't notice us. That was a large pack. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. to cross the railroad. It would save us a detour. Damn, too high. Hey, Hatyam, help me get out there. Shit! Come up now. Picked up 
two more individuals at the railroad bridge. One of them is the order commander's daughter. You should have checked first, assholes. Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one for that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole Metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back.
Attention! The turntable is switching off. for the ravine if you don't shut up. Now listen, if you come out of here, we won't accept this shit again. Okay? Understand? Oh. Animals. How can they? What can I do? A mutant? A watchman? Human! And, uh, how did you... Oh, oh my god! It's, it's you she's been screaming about! Alive! <laughs> you came for her! And, uh, all right. I'll help. Finally, I'll be of some use! <laughs> Okay, they took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance, too many guards, but we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. supplies air for the command center. It's not that large, actually. Wait for the moment and go through. I will, of course, do it. Good luck to you. Who the f- 
Sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, people. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go! All Who are you? I'm dying of the German, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar, then God willing, I'll get you out of here. They know me, so I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, uh, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Uh... Hey Be guys, careful. What's going on? Hey. 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 Artyom, I see the enemy. <sighs> Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Atyon. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Atyon, incoming two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. Thank you. 
The command center came under enemy attack. The attackers are assumed to still be on the base territory. Artyom, I'm changing position. Oh, Watch out, there's a guard on the tower. Wait till the right moment. Attention! The jamming system is coming back online. Uh, just my luck. Sitting at the very top, right under the jammer. Ah, shit. This thing could boil your brains. Am I glad to see you here? Are you all right? 
I'm fine, thank you. All right. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there and Come switch on, the young. turntable mechanism on. And please, be careful. We could easily have the whole base on us. Heads up! It's the enemy! More guards! Get them! I see them! There! Quiet! How did you end up here? Ah, it doesn't matter. 
You have no idea what you just stuck your heads in. We've no moves left. Hansa can't take this line oh, down. Shit, the watchers Sherlock. won't let No, I won't be quiet. What is this jammer for? Why are they hiding the fact that Moscow didn't survive alone? There, in the ravine, there are people from other cities, dead, all of them, women, children. I'll tell you all later, everything. Gramps, what's going on out there, down this road? The road is fine, at least until a hundred click mark. Is there a safe place to stop nearby? Of course, we have to make haste though. They called the cruiser. All right, gentlemen. Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess, and I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they'd be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to it's not my this call and your misunderstanding. Well, at the I'll fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are the with orderly, us. The orderly no one behind. All right, Spartans, throw these overboard and full steam ahead. Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch them there. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! Guys, while you were getting irradiated on the surface, my father just kept lying! Lying to you, to me, to everyone! The whole fucking world! And not even batting an eye! Get 
not just traitors. We are honest-to-God enemy saboteurs! We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green. As if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. <laughs>